हेलो एवरी वन सो टुडे वील बी गोइंग थ्रू द एग्जामिनेशन हैंडबुक विच इज़ रिसेंटली रिलीज बाई आई एफ ओ ए फॉर अपकमिंग अप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एग्जामिनेशन सो वॉट आई हैव डन ओवर हेयर इज आई हैव रेड द इंटायर डॉक्यूमेंट विच इज़ ऑफ फोर्टी थ्री पेजेस एंड आई हैव हाईलाइटेड सम की एस्पेक्ट्स और की पॉइंट्स विच वी हैव टू कीप इन माइंड फॉर द अपकमिंग एग्जाम्स द हैंडबुक विच दे हैव प्रोवाइडेड अ सिमिलर टू वॉट दे डिड इन द लास्ट अटैम्प्ट जस्ट दैट देर आर सम न्यू थिंग्स विच हैव विच हैव बीन एडिड ऑन टू द इंटायर डॉक्यूमेंट एंड there are some new clarifications regarding the examination process so i will keep the video really short um, and i will cover all the important points which you have to consider for your exams right so uh, starting with starting with what are the minimum requirements that we have to have in the exam is obviously you should have ms office uh, minimum version required is uh, office 2013 you can have versions above that as well make sure you don't have office 2010 or something else which is below 2013 minimum requirement is ms office 13 so your ms word and ms excel should be of minimum uh, 2013 right make sure you have a good connectivity you have a good connectivity they have given you a range of 2 mbps uh, or greater than that so make sure basically during the exam obviously you don't need any uh, internet requirement but yes for downloading the paper and uploading your answer script you will be requiring full internet connect connection so make sure you have it throughout your exam also the next thing is the correct time and zone so all the timings which are mentioned uh, for the exams are uh, as per the uk uh, time and you have to convert this into if you live in india ist which is your in the indian standard time and currently we are five and a half hours ahead of them but during the exam which is in the month of april we'll be 4.5 hours ahead of them so make sure you keep this in mind and also we'll be you know making a making this a point that we are circulating this message throughout so that you don't get confused if they mention 10 am then make sure that what it means for us so if it's 10 am there then for us it means 2:30 pm over here in india we are four and a half hours ahead during the month of april now it might show you five and a half hours if you just google it uh, later on it changes to four and a half hours we'll also be updating you with this timing and all every in every uh, point of time so we'll be there so that's not an issue we'll be updating it on our uh, on our social media platforms um and in all our groups but make sure you keep this in mind don't follow their time it's uk timing if you're living in india make sure you are following the indian standard time as per the uk time given so if it's 10 am uk time converted into ist that is the time when the uh, paper will be uploaded and you will be able to download the exam paper and start working with your exam make sure you have adobe reader why because they will send you pdf the question paper will be in the form of the pdf so make sure you have adobe reader on your desktop or on your laptop if you're working on a laptop because you will be able to download the pdf and read the pdf using the adobe reader make sure you have a proper uh, web browser uh, all the instructions are here for windows they have given um, google chrome firefox opera etc don't use internet explorer as it is not supported by ifoa for mac os also they have mentioned few of them it's better to have google chrome which works better for all these exams right then we have the maximum file size so as you all know for the exam we have to upload excel file for paper b cm1 cm1 and cp cm1 cs cm2 and cp2 we have to also upload an excel file uh, other than that for other papers we have word file so make sure the maximum file size is 20 m maximum is 20 mb so it should be below that and all your papers will actually be far below than 20 mb so make sure that's also there the next thing which is very very important and you have to keep in mind is the zip file extractor you should have this on your pc or on your laptops so whatever exam files you're getting 
might be in the form of a zip file especially for uh, paper B examinations, uh, CM, CS paper B exams and CP2 exams. These for these and sometimes for CP3 as well you get your papers in the form of a zip file. Make sure and uh, for CM1B, CM2B and CP2 exams you also get your Excel uh, templates wherein you have to update the answers. So make sure all these things they give you in the form of a zip folder. So in the zip folder you will get the question paper and you will get the uh, excel files. Make sure you extract them from your uh, zip folder. Put it in a text on your desktop or wherever you, you are comfortable with. Make sure you do that and then start working with the excel file and then start working with your um, question papers. Make sure you keep this in mind very very properly. If you start working on your excel file on that within the zip folder itself you will lose your entire work right so don't do this you have to extract all the files which are there in the zip folder on your desktop and then you have to start working with it now uh, let's talk about the plat uh, online format examinations how the format is going on so you might be knowing all these things obviously because it's been long time you're uh, practicing for your paper for uh, let's talk about CM and CS papers first. So for these papers, paper A will be in the form of a Word document. You have to create your own Word document at the time of the exam only. Make sure you are getting 3 hours 20 minutes for your exam. This extra 5, earlier it was 3 hours 15 minutes, which was till April 2021. From September 2021, they have increased it to 3 hours 20 minutes. So they have given you this extra 5 minutes basically for downloading the paper and creating a Word document and start working on it. Do not, do not create a Word document beforehand because there is something called as time stamp that they will check and if your time stamp the time at which the document was created if that is before your start time of exam your paper will be disqualified you your paper will not be corrected so make sure the very first thing is to download the paper from the portal then to create a word document you should know where you have created the word document and to give a proper file name I will come to the file name which you have to mention and then start working with your word file do not create it beforehand right so 3 hours 20 minutes for paper B you have 1 hour 50 minutes again extra 5 minutes for downloading the paper then after that you have this 30 minutes given to you for uploading your answer scripts on the exam platform right so if you are appearing for any other paper generally you have just one word file to upload upload if you are appearing for cp2 exams or cm uh, uh, maybe paper b sometimes it requires multiple files to be uploaded sometimes not always for cp2 it's always multiple file upload where you upload a word file as well as a excel file remember to select all the files together which you have to upload and then you click on the upload button and those 30 minutes which you get so for example once your three hours 20 minutes is over once your 3 hours and 20 minutes is over you get additional you get additional 30 minutes just for the uploading of the paper but make sure during these 30 minutes you do not do anything to your word file now there are some conditions which they have specified recently which wasn't there in the earlier term regarding timestamp so I will guide you how uh, and what you have to do which is very very important so for example my exam starts at 2 p.m. right and it's a 3 hours 30 minutes exam so my exam is ending at 5 30 p.m. right so my exam is ending at 5 30 p.m. this is the time um, we have 3 hours 20 minutes sorry I just this will be this will be right, 3 hours 
for CP3, it's three hours five minutes. So make sure you keep that in mind, all the CP3 students. Three hours twenty minutes. Yeah. So it starts at two p.m. For example, let's just take it as as an example. And your exam is ending at five hours, uh, five twenty p.m. Right. So you create your file at two p.m. After downloading, first thing is to download the paper. Don't forget, obviously, first after downloading the paper, then you have to create the word file. I think that's a better option rather than to first create the word file and then download the paper. First thing should be to download the paper and then you can create the word file. After this, what happens is till 5:20 you are writing on your word file, typing on your word file, and continuously saving it using Control S, right? Once your five 20 once the clock reaches 520 make sure to close the word file do not open the word file again even if you there is some situation and you have to open the file do not for anything do not again save the file if you are again saving the file even if you haven't done any editing on your file even if you haven't done anything on your document still you click on control s your end time the last modified time or the last edited time on your word will change which is wrong and they will consider it to be again a plagiarism and they might cancel your paper so once what i will suggest is don't wait for 520 maybe 2 minutes prior to that make sure you have a timer with you as and when or maybe you are setting an alarm for yourself make sure at exact 5 maybe there you can take even 5 minutes before that 5:15 make sure you just close save and close your word file do not reopen it even if you do that in any worst situation do not save it if you are saving it your last modified time will change and your answer might not be corrected this is very very important and secondly you have to switch off the auto save mode if it's there on your pc so if uh, on your word file or in your excel file you have that auto save feature make sure you switch off the auto save feature you have it generally in, for office 365 if you are using some other versions you might also have of auto save feature which is all uh, uh, maybe by default switched on make sure you switch it off because if auto save feature is on you your last mod modified time might change so make sure your auto save feature is off very 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 important this thing is very important time stamp is very very important they will check your time uh, time stamp and on the basis of that they will correct your paper right so this is what uh, it's all about time stamp do not worry it's not a very big deal i hope you all are giving your mock examinations we have been taking mocks where we are giving you papers in the form of a zip file and everything so we are doing that but make sure when, even if you are practicing your paper at home you practice it in this particular manner only right next thing is um, your word file should be with the extension dot docx and excel file dot xlsx no other thing is accepted no pdf no zip file nothing pure excel pure word file is only accepted make sure it's not password protected if it's password protected they will not correct your paper um when setting subjects which require answers to word you can take the help of excel to answer a few questions to maybe calculate to perform certain calculations but whatever it is always make sure that you disclose your complete working on your word file and this is a thing which i have noticed for all the students who might not clear the paper or who might fail just by few marks is that you are not showing all the step step markings all the steps properly if you are not showing all the step calculations properly then you uh, your marks will be deducted and you might not get full marks even if you know the steps you have performed in excel but the examiner does not know that you have actually done those steps right so you have to disclose those steps on the word or otherwise you will not receive your full marks right <clears throat> 
okay uh make sure it does not contain any external links you are not linking your word or excel file to any other documents which are there uh so there are some uh, exclusions which they have given which you cannot use certain features which you cannot use so you cannot use macros vba in your excel uh you cannot use mathematical markup language goal seek is something which you can use obviously you can use goal seek in your paper b exams you cannot use dictation there is dictation functionality in the recent versions of ms office make sure you are not using it also r markdown you cannot use also people who have maybe apple pen you cannot use uh, pen to write anything or to draw anything you just have to type down your answers right there is no restriction now on the calculator you can use any calculator obviously the prescribed one is always fx ex 82 um <clears throat> next they have given us few uh, mathematical notation so this is same as the previous one and we have been using this uh, recently a lot in our classes so we have uh, these notations given to us also mathematical uh, equation editor you can use equation editor i think this is one of the very common questions which we get is whether we can use the equation editor or not yes absolutely you can use the equation editor um now these are the some notations which are generally uh, used in cm cs sp6 and sp9 papers so they have given you some mathematical notations which you can use uh, some statistical notations uh, some compound interest functions and obviously the life table functions which is widely used in your cm1 examination so they have given these as a reference um, how you can write these mathematical notations using these different uh, easier notations right okay so now let's talk about the reference material so as this is considered to be an open book exams uh, this does not this con this has certain rules and regulations also behind it you cannot use any uh, e templates which you designed earlier so for example let's talk about cp2 exams you cannot have your word file ready with all the subheadings written or maybe you cannot have any other uh, template saved where you have your question numbers written something like that you cannot have you cannot use any kind of pre uh, stored e templates that's a wrong thing to do second thing it's an open book exam but this does not mean that you will actually be requiring a lot of views of your notebook or your uh, material why because uh, the exam pattern is um such that you will only need to apply the knowledge which you have acquired which will not make use of your core reading or your notes right so that is very important and make sure you are writing your answers in your own words you are not copy pasting it from somewhere else now they have talked a lot about plagiarism in the recent uh, uh document so i'll be you know quickly guiding you all what are the main things which they have included and what are the things which we have recently um uh, uh got to know from the students so we have i'll be just putting forward some important points to you you can definitely read this at your own time but there are some important things which you, you sh which you should obviously know so first thing is to understand the extent of plagiarism for example obviously there are certain definitions there are certain principles which you will be directly using um this might not always require referencing so to some extent in your paper very very small portion of it if you have mentioned some definitions which you had already mucked up before make sure not to copy paste maybe you have mucked up and you are reproducing the same thing or maybe uh, there are certain principles which you are directly mentioning so not making a proper referencing for these points can also be uh, taken into consideration can 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 be avoided to be a plagiarism act why because it's a very small portion of your entire paper but what if you are taking the entire uh, answer from the material or maybe a very large 
portion of your material is taken from somewhere else that is definitely considered to be plagiarism even if you are changing a few lines even if you are changing a few words that does not mean that you haven't taken a uh, reference from somewhere and also if you have even if you have mentioned the referencing if in, even if you have given the reference to ifoa or to the material or to the core reading whatever it is or to the past papers still it will be considered to be plagiarism if very large parts of your paper uh, consists of copied material even if you are writing it in your own words so there is a difference you have to understand that if it's a definition or a principle i will suggest you can give referencing if for example you do not give referencing to those portions i ifoa understands that these are some very very small maybe just uh, 5% of your paper which consists of definition or all these type of questions which can be mugged up by you or which you are using it a lot so you might not give referencing that will not be considered for plagiarism right but if you are taking very large portions from your material and also mentioning the name of the material still it might be considered plagiarism because you are taking large portions from there so uh, try to always keep it with yourself don't use any material even if you are using make sure you are providing good referencing for that i had already taken one class where i had explained you all as to how, uh, how you all should give referencing and when you all should give referencing for your exams make sure you are not copy pasting from internet internet is something which i am suggesting a complete no no even they have written that that it's not required even if you are taking it you have to give the complete url of the place where you have taken it from but please do not use internet what is the point of studying so much and at the end of the day during your exam you are copy pasting your answers no point in studying right so do not do that do not copy paste do not sit down with any other person during your examination do not cheat do not copy paste from your existing notes also there are certain basic definitions principles and all these things which might be remembered by you and you are writing it down but this is just maybe not even 5% of your paper and even if you do not give referencing for these these will not be considered for examination these will not be taken as a plagiarism act but yes even if it's a definition and you have copied it from someone they will understand that and it will be considered plagiarism so don't do these things even if you are taking a very large portion of the material from somewhere from acted from co reading whatever it is and you are writing it in your own words and you are giving a good referencing to the material still might be con considered as plagiarism because large parts of your answer cannot be taken directly from the material right so large section directly copy pasting large sections is lead, is led to plagiarism so make sure you do not do this a very small fraction and giving proper referencing acknowledging the place from where you have taken the material is still fine right all right uh now they they have given different types of plagiarisms which might exist which is word for word so writing uh word to word copy pasting from somewhere is completely wrong if you, even if you're taking a reference from your ia uh, ifoa core reading make sure you write it in your own words even if you're taking it from there and even if you're writing it in your own words make sure you give a good reference how to give referencing uh this is how this is how this is how you give referencing this is how you give referencing for example i'm sitting for sa7 ifoa sa7 co reading 2020 if you are if you are using 2022 material if you are using 2022 2021 material make sure you give the correct year unit which is obviously the chapter number generally page number and the paragraph number this is how you have to give this is the proper way of giving referencing to whatever you have taken down from your material right do not use internet altering just few words and copy pasting entire entire paragraph is also taken as plagiarism definitions listed principles are required as examiners and markers will be familiar with these questions candidates will not normally be investigated because it's a very very small fraction maybe just up to 5% of the paper right <clears throat> these things are there and see this is what i am saying is that large volumes of 
copied and pasted material whether referenced or not may be considered as plagiarism so i am just copy pasting everything i am men mentioning the references also as well still it will be considered as plagiarism why because i have directly taken or maybe rephrased it still taken it from a material and a very very large part of it generally these kind of questions will obviously not be coming in your question paper but still avoid doing that all right next is uh, they have you know addressed you on the concern as to how and what you have to do to sit for the examination now make sure you have certain um email ids handy with you so what i will suggest is these three other email ids uh, which they have given take a screenshot of these three email ids and make sure you uh, keep them as safe senders in your gmail account and these mails are not going into spam or maybe promotions generally they might not but if they are going you have to keep a check on that that is one thing second thing on 28th of march again an important date on 28th of march you will be receiving a mail uh, from one of these where you will be getting the uh, exam portal uh, link to the exam portal and then they have explained that what you have to do with exam portal so i'll just guide you through uh, what you have to do in this exam portal it's very very simple very easy to use so there will be a two step verification uh, basically they will also share uh, share a otp on your mobile number so make sure when you log in into your ifoa port, uh, uh, account your details are correct your email id is correct your contact number is correct because these two are the places uh, through which ifoa will be able to contact you so for example your email id is the place where you will be receiving all the formal all the links all all the formal informations your mobile number is again very important because you will be receiving otp so i have had some of the students who have faced difficulties while receiving otp before because their number was not correct maybe or it wasn't working properly so make sure you have a proper number there right now um there is something called as equipment check which you have to do before your exam uh, as and when you receive this login make sure you perform uh, e uh, equipment check for all the exams so for example i am sitting for cm1 i will have to perform uh, equipment check for cm1 a and i have to perform equipment check for my paper a and paper b both separately otherwise i'll not be able to download the exam paper so they have changed the rule if you are not performing the equipment check beforehand they will be you will not be able to download your exam paper on the final day of the exam now what is this equipment check so they have shown it very nicely how you can do this this is two weeks before your exams are due for example my exam is due after two weeks so i will be receiving a mail you will be receiving a mail from alerts adrit online practical exams dot org dot uk if you haven't received such a kind of a mail two weeks prior make sure to contact exam support at the rate actuaries dot org dot uk if you haven't received such email two weeks before the exam not before that two weeks before the exam you will be receiving such a mail now the mail will look something like this so they have given you a snippet of the entire uh, mail how it will look like and there is a thing called as set up my account so you have to click on this set up my account once you click on that it will lead you to a page like this where you have to create a password so make sure you create a password which you remember all right do not mess up please uh, remember your password obviously you can retrieve it later on but make sure you create a good password which you remember after entering the password the next step will be to enter your mobile number again make sure this mobile number which you enter is same as that which is there on your ifoa account all right so make sure you log in into your even if who are non members and who are appearing for cm1 or cs1 as a non member for them as well you all can log in into your ifoa account and you can check what is the number given there that number should match to your own number right which you give it over here so you use the correct country code which is plus 91 for india and then you give your number that should match to your ifoa account number which you have given there 
once you do that they will send you uh, click on the send verification code they will send you a message this message might take up a minute to show up so just wait patiently for 2 minutes uh, it will come up on your cell phones so this will come in the form of a text message once you receive this code which you see over here or any other otp obviously you have to put it over here and then you can click on verify this is how you verify your exam account now this process you have to repeat not creating the password after that just the mobile number and everything this process you have to repeat every time you want to log in to your exam portal which is two weeks when you have those two weeks gap uh, from receiving the mail to your exam date you have that two weeks gap so make sure you do all these steps beforehand only and you will always have to do this double uh, authorization which authentication uh, you have to always provide your mobile number and you will receive your uh, text and make sure the mobile number is correct generally you will not have to provide the mobile number again and again you just do it for once but OTP is something which you will always get once the activation is complete now you can click on login if you have any such issues then make sure you are contacting exam support email ID right also this is the web page you can keep this uh, handy with you make sure on your Google Chrome keep this as a bookmark um, uh, www.onlinepracticalexams.org.uk this is the page where you will be uh, logging into your portal but but the mail which you get the mail which you get that will consist the mail which you get two weeks prior to your exam there will be a line called as set up my account you have to click on this set up my account in order to perform the first initial steps after that every time you want to log in into your portal you can use this url which is online practical exams.org.uk so make sure you bookmark this particular uh, portal so that you can easily just click on that and log into your portal you always need your arn and password to do so and every time they will obviously ask you to uh, <coughs> give the verification code which comes in your cell phone now the next thing is very very important which is equipment check make sure you all do equipment check if you are not doing equipment checks you will not be able to download your paper on the final day of the exams now how to do equipment check very very simple just log in into your portal as as I have shown you earlier you have to go to this URL and put your ARN and password which you have created now after that this red bar once you log in you will see this red bar it this red bar will say that you must complete your equipment check once you do all your equipment check this red bar will change so what you have to do for example you have uh, maybe you maybe you are sitting for two exams CM1 uh, let me take CM1A CM1B and CB1 so for example I'm sitting for three different exams so there will be three different uh, exams which you will see on your screen and there is there is an option of view exam you have to click on that view exam once you click on the view exam option and you have to do is do this individually for all the exams make sure you do that once you click on that view exam this page will open up this page will open up and you have a equipment check option you will scroll down and there is a checkbox which you have to tick and click on verify and here are a few uh, documents which you might go through before your exam I have covered I will be covering and I have covered most of the points already here uh, but still if you want you all can read down these documents there is something called as equipment check make sure you click on that equipment check once you click on that equipment check this particular um, place will come where you have two kinds of check one is your download check and one is your upload check download check is for downloading the PDF file so once you click on this download check button over here a PDF will be downloaded you all can just simply open it using the PDF editor next thing is the upload check now in this upload check you can upload a word document you can upload a excel you can only upload excel in case of cm1b cm2b and cp2 only so other exams you will just have to upload the word file so make sure uh, you click on browse this browse button and it will open a window make sure you select the correct file and click on uh, 
okay then there is a button of preview so this preview is a feature which they added maybe i think last term so you have to click on preview and when you click on preview they will give you a small synopsis of what you are uploading right so this is how it will look like this is how it will look like suppose you are up uploading something uh, related to sa4 so this is how your pdf will look or your word file will look like you can just scroll down and check once you are satisfied with your paper once you are satisfied with your paper you can click on upload check button over here if you are not satisfied with your paper and maybe you have uh, selected some wrong file you might click remove from here and then again uh, browse for a new file and select a new file right now there is no minimum or maximum number of equ equipment checks you can perform this equipment check n number of times also make sure that the the laptop or pc or desktop from wherever you are performing this equipment check is same as that you are sitting for your exam in so if i am appearing if i am doing equipment check on this pc then i will have to sit for my exam in this pc as well do not change your pc laptop anything after equipment check and before your exam do not do that if you are changing make sure you again repeat the equipment check on that particular desktop or pc right there is a option of multiple file selection this is only there for some papers not all papers especially for cp2 you have multiple files so if you want to select multiple files you have to just uh, select one file click on control and select another file you will not have to select it individually whatever you want to select will be selected in one go only and then click on preview check your files and click on upload if you want to upload it if you want to remove change the file you can click on remove once you have done this once you have clicked on upload check they will say that equipment check has been equipment check upload complete this is the prompt you will get once you have completed your upload check so download check upload check two individual tests you have to carry out for all the papers paper a paper b are different so make sure you're doing it twice for both if you have any problem during the process you can contact these two numbers so i will suggest to keep this number handy and this mail id exam support at the rate actuaries dot org handy right uh next over here if you want to change your details you have that option of changing your details you can change your email id your password or your mobile number which i don't think is necessary at all uh, for you to change later on and if you forget your password you can definitely click on this forgot password they will send you a verification or a, a reset link password reset link to your email id you can just click on that link from email id and again reset your password but please do not forget your password make sure you are writing it down somewhere now on the day of your exam what you have to do on the day of the exam so make sure you are not sharing your paper with anyone else you are giving your exam solely whatever paper it is download the paper do not share it with anyone else right when your exam starts download the paper first thing second thing now create a word file and then start working on it keep saving it uh, no matter what um then after that all right one more thing which is important that when you are on the day of your exam when you log in to the exam portal which i have shown you online exam portal do not log out of the portal once you log in into your portal the portal can stay can keep running in the background uh, it nothing will happen and it will stay logged in you will stay logged in for maybe i think 5 to 6 hours so what i will suggest if your exam is starting at 2 pm at 1:45 itself you log in into your portal and keep yourself ready so that exactly at 2 pm you can download because logging into your portal will require verification two step verification they will share you a otp on your mobile number all those things might require 5 minutes right so make sure you do it beforehand don't do it exactly at 2 pm you can definitely log in into your portal and be ready as soon as it's 2 pm you can just simply download the paper right so where from you can download the paper again you have to perform these steps and where do you have to log in now you have to click on this mail uh, 
url which is online pra practical exams dot org so this is the platform where you can log in the first time you logged in was using the set up my account button which you will get on your mail and that is different for all of you don't share it with your friends please right don't share it with your friends just keep it with yourself um the mail which you receive from ifw keep it with yourself never share it with anyone else so once you click on this they will ask you for your rn then they will ask you for the password once you do this they will uh, send a code to your mobile number they will not again ask for mobile number because it's there now with them they will share a, a otp on your mobile number put that code over here and click on verify the moment you click on verify now you are ready your paper will be shown here exam material this is the place where you will see your paper so click on exam material and you will be able to download your paper from here your paper will be downloaded so uh, <clears throat> when you click on exam material this portal will open up and there is a download paper option click on this download paper option and then after that once your paper is completed you have the upload um, option where you can browse for your paper which you are searching um which you have written in right okay <clears throat> so now the next thing which you have to uh, keep in mind the next thing which you have to keep in mind is that all right so the next thing which you have to keep in mind after you have downloaded the paper is to obviously uh, complete the everything make sure you are creating a new word file and writing in your word file and then after that you have to keep saving your work as i mentioned you know you must know where you have saved your word file it's in your desktop or it's in your documents wherever it is you must know that obviously and the file name which i showed you all will be something like this your arn number for example you are sitting for cs1a september 20 uh, it will be april 2022 paper 1 so paper 1 why are we writing paper 1 it will it is uh, basically because you are giving cs1a if it's cs1b make sure you are writing paper 2 for that also very very important make sure you keep this in mind is that you do not mention your own name your arn your email id contact number anything inside the word file or inside the excel file earlier they wanted to do this but now they have changed the rule so do not mention your name your arn your email id inside the word file right the name the file name can be this thing should be this thing in fact your arn if you are not mentioning your arn your paper might not be corrected so may, make sure you are giving your arn paper name uh, diet and the paper one paper two and do not include your arn or anything within your answer scripts right <clears throat> then how to upload your answer scripts so they have again given you these steps once your 3 hours 20 minutes or 1 hour 50 minutes is over make sure you keep a check on the time stamp as i have mentioned you must first save your work and then close your answer script again if you are opening your answer script do not save it even if you haven't done any modification editing and still if you are saving it it will change your last modified time and they will not check your paper so do not do this i recommend this highly do not do this right the best option is to shut down your papers just 5 minutes before just to be safe on a safer side now what you can do is uh, in this upload uh, option what you can do click on browse you can browse through the word file or the excel file whichever you want to upload and then you can click on preview over here so once you click on preview it you will get a preview good preview of this for excel file if you have multiple 
इफ यू हैव मल्टीपल टैब्स जस्ट स्क्रोल डाउन इट विल बी शोन एज डिफरेंट पेजेस राइट मेक श्योर यू गेट अ गुड प्रिव्यू ऑफ इट वंस यू आर फाइन वंस यू आर हैप्पी विथ योर सिलेक्शन देन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन अपलोड द मोमेंट यू क्लिक ऑन अपलोड योर फाइल्स विल बी अपलोडेड इफ यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट मल्टीपल फाइल्स मेक श्योर यू आर सिलेक्टिंग इट एट वन टाइम ओनली वंस यू हैव क्लिक ऑन अपलोड बटन यू कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग एल्स यू कैन नॉट चेंज योर फाइल यू कैन नॉट अपलोड एनी अदर पेपर्स इट्स डन एंड इट्स फाइनल एंड वंस यू डू दैट वंस यू डू दैट यू विल गेट दिस मैसेज यू विल गेट दिस मैसेज दैट योर फाइल इज अपलोडेड दे विल क्लियरली शो यू द एग्जाम फॉर विच यू हैव डन exam for which you are sitting your arn and you will also at the same time receive a confirmation mail on your email id saying that your exam has been submitted your paper has been submitted and the time at which your paper has been submitted they also mention the file size as well so please make sure that you are selecting multiple files if it is multiple files together especially for cp2 exams now there are there might be some emergency situations um they have mentioned it over here if there is a fire alarm you will never get any additional time in any such situation if your laptop or your pc or your wifi or anything any problem from your end you will never get an extra time from ifoa yes after exam there is something called as mitigation form which, which you can fill stating all the things which happened during the exams make sure that if god forbid anything happens make sure you keep good screenshots good evidence for that so whatever is happening make sure you are uh, taking down the screenshot of those things and keeping it with yourself please try to avoid these situations and how you can avoid these situations by uh, taking care of the steps as i've mentioned doing proper equipment check do not changing your laptop or pc at the just on the day of exam or maybe only for the exam make sure you are performing equipment check which is very very important you will not get any additional time for or whatsoever right then um okay if you have any problem while uploading your answer script so for uploading you will get those extra 30 minutes as i mentioned do not wait for last moment why you are obviously not going to edit anything on your paper so as soon as your 3 hours 20 minutes is over save shut the, uh, close the file up and just go and upload your file do not wait because obviously you cannot do any editing you cannot perform anything else you cannot change your answers now so just simply focus on submitting your paper and do not wait for anything else i always suggest to keep that 5 minutes and keep a target of only 3 hours 15 minutes as 3 hours 15 minutes is done save close the file and upload you are obviously uh, not going to do many you cannot do anything in last 5 minutes i at least believe so please try to close your file 5 minutes before only just to be on a safer side all right if you have any problem during your exam they will not accept your paper in the form of a mail they will not accept your any email uh only the paper which is uploaded on the portal will be accepted so make sure you have these numbers uh so this is the number which was there um above so make sure you have this number with yourself and if you have any problem while uploading during those 30 minutes you can call on this number they will they might understand your situation and might give you a code and then they might ask you to send your uh file word file excel file whatever through your email uh and you have to specify that code which they the representative have given you the ifoa representative have given you if that code is not there your answer script will not be corrected so make sure this situation does not come up perform your equipment check and also start uploading at the correct time all right now uh so they have recently included this appendix for inappropriate conduct during the examination i will just quickly in 2 minutes go through these um so they have stated that what is the uh, form there are other different forms of plagiarism one is collusion sitting down with your friends cheating or impersonating uh, someone else and giving the exam uh, sharing your answer scripts sharing your papers with someone else so all these things and even try to avoid um 
they also you know identify candidates colluding over email ids whatsapp groups social media platforms avoid interacting with anyone during the exam avoid joining any such kind of group where you where there are people who are interacting with each other do not do these things um so what ifo they have laid down the full uh, structure of what they do when they receive the paper uh, there is a very famous um, platform uh where they upload your answer script to check the if there is any plagiarism so that software will check any such form of plagiarism if there is a sufficient amount of plagiarism displayed by the software that goes to the examiner then examiner is the one who checks your answers uh whether it's uh, correct or not or whether there is any form of plagiarism actually once the examiner believes that there is some form of misconduct they will then send your paper to the chief examiner or maybe someone who is uh, at a higher position again they will uh, verify again if they find any misconduct you will receive a email saying that there was a misconduct during the exam and your paper might be at a hold this is the entire process they go through um and so you can understand um the different steps you know they follow so it's difficult to to uh, avoid them actually so what i will suggest be honest with yourself and obviously give your exam with honesty uh this is what they have mentioned over here so i think um, with this you can just go through just read it once if you want i have already stated the important points so as such there are no other important points which you have to keep in mind just make sure that uh definitions first principles on any these kind of principles which are there commonly used for those very very maybe 5% of the paper if even if you're not giving any referencing for that it might not be considered as a plagiarism but if large portions of your paper is taken down from somewhere and you have if even if you have referenced it even if you have written it in your own words still it will be considered to be plagiarism so do not take very very large portions from any reference material if you are doing that make sure it's a very very tiny bit of your paper and properly referenced right also make sure you perform the equipment check you will receive your emails by on 28th of march is when you will start receiving which is two weeks prior to the first exam you will start receiving your emails for online platform set up my account i have explained the entire process log in into your portal perform the download check up equipment all the equipment checks for all the papers paper a and paper b separately if you are not doing that they will uh, not let you to download your paper on the final day lastly please follow the time stamp create the word file when your exam time starts close the word file just before the exam time ends do not open it again do not open and save it again auto save should be off right so these things are very very important i hope i was able to clarify most of your doubts if you have any further questions you can write down in the comment below and uh, you can get back to us and we'll be glad and happy to help you thank you all the best for your exams